Hey, what's going on guys? So I am here continuing with the Honda Element build. Um, it's been a lot of work. Uh, as you can see, last video, I finally turned it on. Um, but now I'm actually working on the downpipe or the the pipe that's gonna exit the, the hood. And I'm not very good at welding, so I have to grind off a bunch of welds. I have a MIG welder from Harbor Freight with uh with the gas not very good at it but here she is finally finished her somewhat so i'm gonna go ahead and test her out and yeah all right guys so here she is coming right out of the turbo out the hood running uh no hood for now i guess but we'll see all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and turn her on See? Alrighty guys, so as you can see from the previous video, we turned on the car, we did a couple of things, and that video was actually probably like last week. Um, now I'm gonna show you a little bit of everything else that I've already done. So here it is. So here she is, I've already done actually a lot of things already. I uh, finished the up pipe for the, for the turbo here, and uh, what happened baby? And I finished also the cold pipe, the charge pipe, and the intercooler. I just mounted it now. And uh, I put the bumper back on. I had to take out the little grill section, the plastic there. Um, what else have I done? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I did all the, the piping for the turbo there. And then, um, yeah, I put the, the blow-off valve. I put a couple of hoses that I needed to do. I gotta fix this fuel line here. Um, and a couple of other items like the, the boost vacuum, not the boost vacuum, the brake boost uh, vacuum. And uh, yeah, pretty much for the most part, I've already finished pretty much everything. I mean, really the only thing now that I am waiting for is the uh ecu so i went with the hall tech ecu the platinum pro it's actually used for an rsx because my year element is actually the 0506 element so i'm going with the hall tech platinum pro because it's plug and play it reads all the stock sensors and um so yeah i'm just gonna go that route because it's Probably the easiest. I mean, it's plug and play. The AC is still going to work. The AC actually works pretty good. Um, and that's it. I mean, all the sensors work for it. And the only thing I had to get was uh, a Haltic wideband, which uh, should be coming soon. So hopefully, hopefully that comes through. Hopefully it runs good. I, I've already was using the software, which some of the guys from the Element forum uh, I've talked to, and they said it's it's really good. So I'm waiting for that so I can finally make her run pretty good and then I have to go tune it and do, you know, all those items. But I still have a couple more things to do. Like, um, I actually just got a fuel pump. So I got the mount here and a bunch of fittings here. Some Amazon fuel pump. Um, I also got the fuel rail. I got a new fuel rail for it. Let me see. I can show you guys. I think that's pretty much the the biggest thing that I have left. 
is uh, pretty much the fuel system. Everything else is pretty much ready to go. I've already literally done everything. So really the only thing left is the fuel system. And what else? Here, hold on, let me try to open this thing over here. Whoop. Let me show you guys the, the fuel. The fuel rail here. Here, I need both hands here. Hold up. Alrighty, so here she is. It looks pretty good. I forgot what brand it is. But uh hold up, because I need two hands here. What's up, baby? Alrighty, so I got it out here. This is the fuel rail that I went with. It looks pretty nice. So we'll see. I'll probably do that today and couple of other items i also needed uh intake air temperature one that has uh that is threaded so i could put it in the piping because the stock one is like a rubber fitting so if you keep that one with boost it'll just pop out here we have some a and lines and a and fittings for the new fuel pump i have the fuel pump i think it's down there um so i'm putting an external fuel pump so we'll see how that plays out um, I just want enough fuel. I think I got the injectors already delivered. I got 2,200 cc injectors. I know they're big, but we can just mess with it in the tuning so it can run good. But I just want to have enough fuel where it needs fuel. And I want to have enough fuel pressure in the, you know, in the fuel system, as well as I put, I got a fuel pressure regulator. So I'm going to have a return and it's going to be boost reference. So little by little i mean i still have a couple more items to do but really the hard part i'm pretty much done so soon she's ready hopefully she runs good remember guys this is the k24a4 so it's still stock internals and everything so hopefully she runs good and hopefully she can hold up some boost but we'll see we just gotta find out but um yeah, that's the update for now. Um, I'm gonna uh, go ahead, start little by little, start doing everything else. And uh, yeah, so see you next time.